It's 9.52 a.m. June 4th. So this is the type of psychiatric illness and criminal negligence we're dealing with. If someone tried to murder you, kill you, and frame you, slander you, and committed severe crimes on you, would I be owed money for it? Not at all. There are people who owe me money. There was money that's mine for cri severe crimes committed on me and crimes that are still being committed on me. And there are these people with psychiatric illness, some psychiatric illness related to entitlement and grandiose delusions. And basically they have a delusion that they think they're owed money for crimes committed on me. They think they're owed money for theft of my data. They think they're owed money because they bought stuff from a terrorist who didn't own it. And now they think they're owed money because they bought stuff from a terrorist who never owned it and even said it was my property and he didn't know the worth. And they think they're owed money because they were paying terrorists for property that they didn't own and knowingly bought it from terrorists who didn't own this property. And they think they are owed money for data theft. And they also think they're owed money for crimes committed on me. If you got hit by an 18 wheeler, would you, would I be owed money? Cause you got hit by an 18 wheeler. If someone tried to murder you, would I be owed money? Cause people tried to murder you. If you were a victim of a seven year hostage scenario, would I be owed money? No. This is evidence of psychiatric illness and criminal negligence. Anyone do, who doesn't recognize these people have psychiatric illness and have a delusion. You probably have criminal negligence or psychiatric illness too. Praise